What is going on guys, Austin Nurcho here, and today we're doing more Marvel Legends. This time we have the Marvel Legends, I guess you'd call it Spider-Man, would be like the theme or whatever, with the Build-A-Figure of, I'm gonna say just Spider, it's S-P-D-R, which is a robotic Spider-Man, and you can see part of its arm here, and of course we'll see more of its body parts as we look through this. But in this set, first off, we've got Dr. Octopus and Scarlet Spider, then of course we'll go through and look at each one of these. Then beyond that, we have a cloak and dagger here, so you can see cloak and dagger. Then we have Electra and Shadowland Daredevil there. And then the last one is the House of M Spider-Man. So we've got all these to go with, and then you can see right there the um, head of S. PDR or spider, whatever you want to call it, and his robot suit there and everything. So let's get into it and look at each one of these figures. I wrote some information down on some of these because most of these I don't know, like the variations, like the House of M spider, like what's that got to do with anything. So I wrote a little bit of information down just so I know what's going on and I can inform you about that. But let's go ahead and get into it and then of course build spider at the end and it'll be awesome. So let's get into it. And so first up here we've got Doc Ock, of course, one of the classic Spider-Man villains. And I'm um, usually very dorky looking, but pretty cool overall. So here we've got a look at him. So we've got Dr. Otto Octavius here. So there's, of course, the look at his face. And he's in his classic looking outfit here. So I really like that, like, outfit design the best. But here we got a look at his face. So he's got his weird bowl cut hair, as you can see there, and the brown and stuff. Then he's got the green glasses with the giant goggles on him. I don't know why he has to wear them like that, but I always find it funny and think, it's weird that he wears those and everything. Then he's got his mean grimace on his face. You can see his teeth there, and he's got some um, face chub roll type things, whatever, because he is a tubby man, as you can see. He's got a belly on him and everything. And then he's in the classic yellow and green outfit, as I mentioned there. So all green with the yellow neck, gloves, belt, and then boots down here. Then the green everywhere else. And as I mentioned, he is kind of big, so he does have a stomach on him and everything. And then some of the like joint moves, so you can see because of his size, he has more of the female um, design, just overall bigger, as in where he's right under his chest has the movement, and so you can just like twist him around. He doesn't bend back and forth or anything, but of course has all the same head movements, arm movements. Nothing too special going on with him there. Yeah, nothing looks too different. He does have some pretty thick legs there, of course, since he's a bigger guy. He's got some uh, fatty legs there, and it's uh, it goes all the way down. You can know he's got fat calves and all that and everything. Then on the back, you can see where his tentacle go, uh, tentacles go. And so we have the tentacles here that come as the accessories for him. So I'm going to try and get these on. A, you have to like kind of put them in a certain way or order, I think, just for the design. But I'm looking at the box, so I'll know how to do it. So I'm going to put these on real quick and then bring it back to show you what it looks like. So there it is with the tentacles on. I don't know if I did it right. He's pretty hard to get the stand up. You know, I, I don't know if I put these on wrong, maybe. I may have got the like bottom one switched around or something. They may have to, you know, flip over or something, maybe by the design. But um, I figured they'd help pull him up, but they kind of still just help pull him back. So I had to kind of lean him forward there. But he looks really cool. Like, I like the tentacle arms. I'm... Um, um, I thought they'd be more poseable, but they kind of just stay where they are. And it looks a little bit different from the picture. They, like, the claws are up higher like this and more straight forward. But, like, you can't get them really to stay. So they just kind of fall right back. But it still looks really cool. Like, I really like this. I mean, it's got the giant tentacle arms, as you can see there, because obviously he's, you know, named after Octopus. So he's got the eight arms, you know, for himself and then four extra ones. Uh, but let's just see here um, from his box says Otto Octavius gears up with four mechanical tentacle appendages as the evil genius Doc Ox. So of course, everybody knows a lot about Dr. Octopus, so there's not a whole lot of details going in there. He's just got these arms to help him, you know, fight Spider Man and everything, so he's pretty evil looking and all that. So that's really cool. So that's going to be it for Doc Ock. Then next up here we have Scarlet Spider. So this, I've heard of Scarlet Spider before, but I've never seen or known about this version. I've only seen like the Ben Riley version of Scarlet Spider. So this one I had to look up and so just a little bit of information about him to start off His name is Kane Parker and he is a clone of Peter Parker He was cloned by the Jackal which is one of Spider-Man's villains and he was you know So he's supposed to look exactly and everything like Peter Parker So he goes around doing crime and then it gets blamed on Peter Parker and then he ends up turning good in the end And so we'll look uh, talk about some of
some of his powers here in a little bit. But first off, I really like this suit. So it's in the black and red suit. So it's, you know, got the little bit of black here at the top. So it's got the black with the red eyes there. Then it's got the black spider and the black fingertips. Then the rest of him is all red. There's no other black or anything else designs on him or anything. But he's got the classic Spider-Man, like, look to him. There's nothing real special about, like, his, um body or anything does have any other you know things on him like pockets or belts or anything like that just pretty plain but we do have the spider there in the center of his chest of course as usual as spider-man does then on the side here we've got these stingers that come out of his hand so he's got retractable stingers as part of his powers and so you can see it like you know retract go coming out of his hand there and then that one he's got fists so he can go and sting you and everything with his stingers there which is pretty cool um just for some uh posability stuff though he has you know the normal head joints but he does have like the butterfly arm joints which this one there he goes is, is stuck but there you can see the arm joints so again i like that they have these on spider-man so you get better posability so he's got the wide arm joints there then of course the normal shoulder um like ball joint thing that moves up and down and then of course all the different arm joints all the way down and then the same body parts as usual it's just it has this new joint that they've been putting in on a lot of figures you know that i really like so you can uh, pretty much uh, pose it a lot better. Um, I wish they would do some stuff with the legs though is what they need to work on next. Like they've got the arms down pretty well. You can pretty much move them about wherever you want. But the legs still need some work on posability and everything. Then some accessories he comes with. So he comes with two extra hands. So two fist hands. So if you don't want to have the stingers poking out. But you want to have fists instead, you can have put these on. So again, I like the black fingertips on the edge there that he comes with. Then he also comes with his head. So there's, the, again, supposed to look like the Peter Parker from the comics. Um, but there's like the clone version. So he's got the whitened eyes. And then like a palish skin color. It's kind of got like a green hue to it. I don't know if that's just the paint. Or if that's exactly um, actually what he's supposed to look like. But I think that's a really cool looking head. And I like that look of Peter Parker. Then for Spider, which this is our first part of Spider we got in. It's weird that Doc Ock didn't come with anything, but with all his tentacles, I kind of get why. But we have the right, or sorry, left hand of SPDR Spider, as I'm just going to call it, um, there. So that's pretty cool. And so from his box says, the product of a failed Spider-Man cloning project, Kane is unstoppable, an unstoppable villain who dons the suit of Scarlet Spider. And then one last thing I wanted to add about his powers is it has he or he has the mark of Kane. And so pretty much what that is is when he, you know, fights and defeats people and stuff, he'll take his hand and just put it on someone's face and it'll like burn his handprint into him. So it's kind of like a calling card and like a um I forget what you call it, a branding on people to show that he's been there and face fought him and everything. So it's kind of an evil villainy type thing to go along with there when he was evil and stuff. So that's gonna be it for Scarlet Spider. Then our next figure here is Elektra, and so this is the classic comic book looking Elektra, my favorite version of her, and I really like this design. So here we go, up here at her face, you can see she is a woman, obviously, because it's Elektra. I like her red cap, like, uh, bandana type thing she has on there, and again, I like the, you know, like, uh, tails of it, or tassels, what, I don't know what you'd call these, hanging down there in the back. Then they have her long flowing hair, again, they're re uh, doing these better hair designs. That look almost or more realistic and everything compared you know to just like old just plain hairstyles they add the flowiness and details into it and everything so it looks cool then she's just in her classic red outfit here so she's got the red top it almost looks you know like a swimsuit or something like that the red top there then she has the red uh, belt skirting so you know it's like the belt of cloth and then the uh, flaps down the front and the back you know, like a loincloth type design and stuff. Then she's got the red um, straps all around her, so she has them on her arm there. Then she's got her wrist gauntlets, and then the straps continue onto her legs there, as you can see. Then she's got the red boots. So this figure overall has some uh, character, or not character, but design issues, and one is her hip right here. You can see it's really messed up and weird and stuff, so my brother's going to end up buying a new figure of this because of this weird issue and stuff in design because it annoys him and everything so he's gonna have to buy a new figure for that some of these figures have issues and stuff but um you know you can't it kind of hides it but not well enough um then her hand she does have the hands there the holder side which we'll see in a second there so she's got that design that we saw with the calling wing from the hasbro exclusive rail defenders or whatever um she had her hands like that so it was probably just like a electra they took and repurposed in the calling wing and then just a normal hand there 
And she is a female, so she has the skinny female joints, nothing special about her joints. She just has the normal shoulder joints, elbows, the single joint elbow there, and then, of course, a wrist, and then has that uh, twist or area right under her chest I mentioned for Doc Ock. She has the same where she can just twist around, of course, the head movement and their stuff. Then the legs are all the same and nothing special. And she does also have a paint issue going on here with some red up on her leg and stuff, which is kind of a pain and issues so there we've got Electra and her foot is a little weird so she has to kind of stand weird um, it's just the packaging when they put stuff in packaging it messes with their legs and so the females usually end up with messed up legs then for accessories she comes with two sides so you can put those in her hands obviously and they look really cool they're re I like the really long blade they have and the red and stuff that looks like a really good weapon here it reminds me of course a lot of Raphael with the red and everything and then we've got one of Spider's legs here, his left leg as well. As you can see how tall he's going to be if that's just his leg there and everything. So that's pretty cool. And from her box, says, shaken by the death of her father, Electra uses her exceptional skills in the martial arts to become an expert assassin. So she's going to kill you. She's coming after you. She's going to electrify you. Well, that's going to be it for Electra. And our next figure here is a pretty cool one and a figure I, or a character I did not know a whole lot about. But this is Cloak. So from Cloak and Dagger and everything. And I knew a little bit about him from the TV show, the Cloak and Dagger TV show, which I actually think is pretty good and decent. Like it's not obviously like the best, most entertaining thing. But it's actually, I found it more entertaining than a lot of the like Netflix Marvel shows. That's just my personal opinion on that. But let's take a look at this figure here. So this thing uh, doesn't have a whole lot going on, but it does look really interesting. So there we have... Clo uh, dag uh, cloaks. <laughs> I'm gonna get them all mixed up. Dagger or sorry, cloaks face there. As you can see, I like his white eyes, and then it's got the beard and everything on his face there. And he has the hood from the cloak on him, and it's like attached. I thought you could take it off because it is loose. As you can see, it's just around his head, so it's got you know the separation all the way around it there. But it is attached onto his head, so you can't take that off or anything. Then go down. We've got the cloak on the outside, which we'll look at here in a second. And then on the inside, he's just all. Uh, you can take the cloak off you can undo which I like how they did that right at the clasp of the coat cloak they have the thing that you can undo to take it off but like I said this looks a little weird because you can't take it off so he just has to have this but his bat body is all black so it's all painted black except for from his shoulder here down it's going to be hard to see but it's like a translucent black so you can see it really there in his fingers like the translucent of it or translucent of it and then it's up here as well it's like again harder to see if you look at it you know in real life there you can kind of see a little bit of see through yeah you can see my finger there and so that parts on each of his arms are clear or see the see through stuff all the way down then the rest is just the all blacked out um just flat paint version um his boots maybe as well i can't really tell they look yeah, they are the see-through as well. Again, it will probably be hard to see, but they are the see-through as well, which or translucent, whatever, which looks really cool. Then for joints and stuff, he's got all the same and normal joints. But with his cloak, it kind of, like, you know, defeats everything. So, like, when he's got his cloak on, he can't hardly move. But I also like the design of the cloak because if you couldn't get his, like, feet position right or whatever, the cloak helps design it. And I like how his head's, like, because of the hood and stuff, his head's always, like, kind of pointed down. It looks, makes him look really cool and fit in with, you know, what he is and everything. But let's go ahead. Um, we'll read the box first. It says, a hooded vigilante in the war on drug crimes. Tyrone Johnson uses powers of the darkness of, or as cloak, sorry. And so some information, of course, Tyrone Johnson is his name. As we got there, he has the ability to teleport. He can use the dark force dimension, which is how he teleports. He teleports from real life into the dark force. And he can do it to villains and whatever he's fighting and stuff. He can see fears by touching someone. So once he touches somebody, he can see what they fear. And then he has a psionic link to dad. So they have a connection together where they'll see each other a lot when they're not around each other And it shows that a lot in the TV show and stuff and they have that connection and he just looks really cool Oh, and I forgot to mention on the cloak He does also have so the darker parts so it's more like the purple So it's like a blue color than purple the purple is like a see-through It's gonna be hard you can kind of see uh, my finger and stuff there you can see it through there yeah so it's got the uh, clear st uh, stripes or translucent stripes there as well which I think look really cool and I just like this figure ov overall just the look of it and everything it just looks really cool and I like it a lot so that's going to be it for cloak
Then next up is Dagger, but I did want to mention, I forgot to mention with Cloak that it does come with Spider or Spider's head there, so I forgot to mention that. But anyways, back to Dagger here. So she is pretty much the opposite of Cloak in like everywhere. So as you can see, Cloak was wearing all dark colors and everything, and then she's like bright white. And so it's a, it's like, like I said, completely opposite in almost all ways, and they're connected together. So here's a look at her up close there, so you can see she's got the long blonde hair again. Um, I like the detailed design, it's just not as flowy as like Electra's hair was and stuff, it's more of the like classic design. But then we've got her face there where she has the like moon looking design there around her face. So I don't know what that's supposed to be if anything or if it's just a design, um, but it has that like crescent moon design there on her face. Then go down, she's just in an all white outfit which has some issues because of that because of dirtiness and stuff, but we'll look at that in a second. Then she has the design opening of the outfit here that's designed like a dagger, you know, so it's the handle, the hilt, and then the the blade of the dagger as well so I like that design in her outfit and then she's just wearing all white and she has these white triangles there on her hand I assume supposed to be just the outfit like coming out onto her hand and stuff and then yeah just white all the way down it's a female it's got all the classic female joints just like Electra did nothing special about that but um, it's gonna be hard to see but there's some dirtiness along this uh, hip, uh, thigh joint there and then um, I thought I can't, oh, the other thing was her knee. So in the packaging, again, her, like, leg was bent in, so this foot, like, it, it can twist like that to help kind of counteract it, but I had to, like, break it loose to do it, but then the leg just bent in, so you have to, like, kind of stand her weird, and then her foot, like, because of the design and stuff, is, like, as forward as it goes, and it just, it's hard to get her to stand like you have to get it in the right position like that but accessories she comes with her daggers or knives here so they just look like little uh, diamonds is what it looks like and stuff and you can take this and uh just by the picture on the box here because i was like what do you do with this you just attach to her hand and then kind of do it like that like she's you know has thrown them and so they're like coming off of her and stuff so it just got look kind of like that it's kind of weird um i don't know if i really like it like the design they did for it and everything it's just kind of weird um but it's still cool that they did at least come with some sort of daggers and stuff to go along with it and then for spider we have his be uh chest or upper body here as you can see there and we'll read from box says tandy Bur so, three two one and so we'll read from our box here says tandy bowen channels her unrivaled possession of light force into signature light dagger weapons earning herself the name dagger so again she has the light force he has the dark force um, as da uh, Cloak does, but for information, so of course her name Tandy Bowen, as I mentioned, she has the daggers of light, she can purge people's addiction, so like she can find out what's wrong with them inside, and then da uh, Cloak had some things like that too, but obviously opposite um, with the fear stuff, but she can see hope in people when she touches them, how Clo dagger could, or Cloak could, could see fear, and then her light things can also heal people as well, and then of course they have the connection with Cloak and stuff, as like I said, being pretty much the opposite of each other but their connection makes it really cool of their whole story and stuff so that's going to be it for dagger and our next figure here is the Shadowland outfit Daredevil. So, of course, this is just Daredevil, Matt Murdock, just in a different ad outfit from the Shadowland storyline that um, he was a part of. And so here he's in his pretty much, I want to say, reverse of Daredevil outfit, but I don't know exactly how reversed it is. But I really like this. This is, like, one of my favorite outfits and designs, like, for Daredevil. And then out of all this set, I just really like this a lot. So he's in the all-black outfit with the red outline. So he's got the red um, wrist like gauntlets or whatever I guess they're like a uh, cloth tied around him then he's got the belt the holster here for his batons and then the red boots there as well then the rest of course is all black as um, you can clearly see but he's got his head there so he's got the red eyes and still the devil horns and stuff that I really like um, he does have some pain issues there on his face the black they went kind of overboard with and went down onto his face there then he's got the red double D for daredevil of course there um, move wise he's got all the same movements so nothing special doesn't have the new elbow or butterfly joint or anything just the classic joints for all of that nothing special um but accessories wise they're kind of cool new stuff they're starting to do here i've noticed so here he's got his batons but it's in the um like string form so it's like the whip form whatever he has you know 
can whip it around stuff and you like swing off light poles and then of course wrap people up and stuff so you can put that in his hands and make it look as if he's you know getting ready to like whip it at somebody and stuff and I just think that looks really cool that they did that design unfortunately at least I don't think oh you can take it off okay I was like I don't think you can separate it though to uh, put it into his holsters but I guess you can so I mean I may be doing it wrong they'd probably go that way so then you can obviously just stick them down in there which I won't fully stick them down in there but that's really cool and I like again this whole design with the string and everything and you can obviously just put them in his hands as well for weapons um, if you don't want that though you can give him fist hands so if you don't want him to hold the batons you can do the fist hands which again look like the um, Scarlet Spider's hands where they're the all red but they have the fiddle focus in on here have the like uh, bandage design there as you can see and then the black fingertips on it which again look really cool so you can just throw those in as well if you want then he comes with the right arm of spider so we're getting close to being done with spider here to build him and everything and so from his box it says martial arts master matt murdoch suits up and in, in black to fight the villains of hell's kitchen as daredevil so this again is part of the whole shadowland thing which is a weird thing where he had went away and came back and he was current now the leader of the hand group and he so he started you know training people but as he's doing it he's teaching to kill and so he's you know kind of going against you know like the whole batman stuff where he just kind of maim people and knock them out whatever you don't kill him but he's now killing people and he ends up killing uh bullseye and everything and it's found out that he's like this because he's possessed by um a demon called the beast which is uh the beast of the hand or whatever is what it's called and so that's why he's all mean and evil now and wears all black and stuff but i think it looks really cool and i really like this so that's gonna be it for daredevil and our last non bill figure figure here is the house of m spider-man so this is uh pretty interesting and different so it looks you know like spider-man you know pretty classic design it's just a little bit more different details so he's got the classic face design still and then going down instead of the spider on the chest it's um just like this weird cutout design and has this like it looks almost like you know spider like mandibles or something there but it could be the m for the house of m maybe or just the design in general but i like the like shoulder or arm design how it's you know the spider webbing and then it just goes all the way down like to here towards his fist and then on the fist as well i like that besides um like the normal spider-man which i think ends up here somewhere up in here and then just blew all the way down but i like this design and details they put into it there you can see the like legs and stuff of the spider or whatever it looks almost like an ant almost because these look like eyes so then you have the mandibles and stuff so it's like a you know giant ant head here and then it comes around to the back with the legs and everything i don't know and it looks like an ant butt and it's got the three legs there i don't know it just it looks different and weird but cool at the same time i like that so for his hands he's got a fist on this side then of course the classic web shooting hand on the other side and then going down he's just all blue down till you get to the red spider webbing shoes there and he does have the butterfly joint on the elbow or shoulders again so you can you know bend his arms a lot of different moves and positions and stuff but other than pretty much just this chest design he's pretty much the same old spider-man nothing special or different let's see if we can get him to stand up i have some standing issues again with him because he's got the skinny legs and stuff so it's hard to get him to stand up for accessories he comes with a webbing so that's like it was mentioning you know, with the daredevil we have the you know big long um, whip baton thing then we have webbing here so it's got a hand Handle, which it'd be nice if his hand you know had the spot we could like you know put it slide his hand into and hold on to it but by the box art and stuff you just kind of slide it onto his fist and everything so it's kind of weird but then it's just got the webbing design here as you can see the lines um just the webbing lines that have the thick parts in between you know just the way it's designed in comics and stuff and then it's got the wrap around so you can obviously stick it on the something and then have him swinging on it'd be cool for like a display or something like that and then for spider we've got its last part here the right leg of it so we've got spider complete which we'll build here in a second and from his box as quick on his feet and agile as they come peter parker becomes the wrestling sensation known as spider-man so that's a part of the story i looked up the whole house of m thing and it mentioned how he's an actor a wrestler all sorts of stuff which of course we saw him do the wrestling stuff in the first spider-man movie with toby Maguire and everything but so the whole um m or house of m thing is where like i want to say like the world or whatever is ruled by magneto and mutants and stuff so that's why we have the house of m named after magneto and everything and so that's kind of what the whole thing's about 
Well, in this world, um, because of the whole mutants running and everything, it's an alternate universe and stuff. Spider-Man actually believes he is a mutant. That's how he's got his powers and stuff. Is he's a mutation, not bit by a spider and everything. Um, and in the storyline, his family and all his loved ones are alive. So Uncle Ben's alive. Uh, Gwen Stacy and her father are all alive and stuff. So all those kind of people are still alive. But then he starts having like these uh, or things that he believes are real and stuff. Uh, I think they're like nightmares or whatever, but where, you know, stuff starts happening where people start dying and stuff, and he's like reliving the events of the real life Spider Man. And so he's, you know, in this alternative universe, but he's still having the vision and thoughts of the real Spider Man. So that's like his weird connection um, to the real life and stuff, even though it's in an alternate universe and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And so that's going to be it for the House of M Spider Man. So we now have all the pieces here for SPDR or Spider, whatever you call it. So let's go ahead and put it together. So here is Spider SPDR all put together. And so it's really tall. I had to adjust the camera and everything just to get it to fit in. So here we go. So here's a look at its face again. It's got sort of like the Spider-Man looking design in the face. But I like the whole black, red, and yellow design that this whole robot has and everything. So there's a look at his face. So again, it's got the Spider-Man looking eyes and face design overall and stuff there. No spider on the chest, which I thought would have been cool but it just has that yellow like light or whatever there on the chest oh his arm just fell off apparently i didn't get the arm popped in good enough hopefully i got all the other joints um put in and everything um so again with the design of the red and yellow i like the like caution you know design there on it so it's got the giant shoulder um blades there so it looks like yeah you can't really do any much of moving with the shoulder joints you can just you know move up and down but we've got uh 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 a yeah, bicep like twist here so you can twist it around and then of course has the elbow joint there and then of course the hand can twist around and bend and everything there and then it's got the twist there right again under the chest so it's like ooh, do a little dance like ooh, look at me um so there we got that then go down it doesn't have any like hip uh waist twist or anything it's just that part up there but it does have the hip joints i like you can see like the ball joint of course of the robot and then you can just move it around and everything there it doesn't have a thigh twist but it does have a double knee joint there as you can see and then the foot can twist around a little i thought this would maybe open wider but it doesn't so it just kind of stands on the um, thin spindly legs and everything so that's pretty much it for movement just for some size comparison if it will work if I can get this thing to stand up that's a issue with the like body design and everything of this you have to like kind of squat it down to help get it centered and stuff so it's not standing up perfectly tall but here's Scarlet Spider next to it so you can see the height difference of it and everything and so again I mentioned I wanted to you know, get some information so what this is about so SPDR spider whatever you want to call it the robot is so it just fell down we'll just lean it up against the back there is so it's a robot um being controlled or whatever by penny parker which took over the robot from her dad so her dad originally was in this robot you know being like a spider-man and everything but um he ended up dying and so when he died she took over because of being his daughter she's you know the closest match to him so she was able to take over the robot and so again she was raised it's pretty much like an alternative Peter Parker story. So she was already raised by Uncle Ben and Aunt May and stuff. And so they told her she would have to take over as Spider in place of her father. So to get her into and stuff, since she matched and stuff, she ended up getting bit by um, the CPU. I think it says of the spider or whatever. So it's like a little spider CPU part or whatever. So she ended up getting bit by that and then getting the abilities to come be, to control spider and stuff. And so he's pretty much similar to Spider-Man every way. And he has web shooters that shoot out of his hands and stuff. Um, so it's just, you know, like a robot version of Spider-Man kind of in an alternative storyline. But that's going to be for this set of Marvel Legends. Again, I'm going to call it the Sp uh, Spider-Man wave of Marvel Legends with the Build-A-Figure of SPDR. Or I'm just going to call it spider because that's just an easier way to say it and stuff which i think again is really cool i like the robot design of like a spider man here as you can see so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below leave a thumbs up can also show that as well and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more marvel legends videos and we'll see you next time